how this one fit the best. So I went to Walmart and I got myself a new vacuum cleaner. So here's what I got. It's a Bissell. And uh, I like the fact it didn't have, um, it, you don't need to use bags for it like the old one did. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it does. I'm going to take it out right now and let's get, give it a whirl. I'm so excited about this vacuum cleaner. The old one wasn't working that great before it ended up dying. And living out here with the, you know, the dirt roads and now the dog and all that, it gets really dirty here really fast mopping the floors all the time and doing all that sort of stuff and I can't say I'm a big fan of cleaning but if I'm gonna have uh, if I'm gonna clean I want it to at least work there we go. check it out here's what it looks like it looks like there's a brush I guess an upholstery brush and some other attachment. We'll figure out what those are. Pop this off. Over there. And let's see what's going on. Another attachment. Oh, heavy. pull it out. It weighs a ton. Well, maybe it doesn't. I'm just not real strong. Whoops. <laughs> well, there are the rest of the attachments. Let's get this taken apart. What else we got here? All right. Oops. We have this. And we have this. I guess the first order of business is to attach the um, handle here. There's some screws. So we'll see if I can get that in there. Should snap in. There we go. Pretty darn good. What I'm going to do next to secure the uh, handle to the rest is to grab a screwdriver and screw in these two, um, these two screws from the uh, handle into the body of the vacuum cleaner. Both in there now, and the handle is fully secured. The adjustment dial, you can go from uh, like bare floor, I think, to, uh, to high loft carpet. The purple foot pedal is to um, release the handle, and the red foot pedal is on and off. All right, there's this little thing right here. It's a lower cord wrap, so we stick it in there, so stick it in there, turn it to the left. Of course, it's not turning to the left. There we go, four hours later. <laughs> now they want you to wrap this around, I guess, the power cord. And there you go. Power cord unraveled, untangled and in place. Let's see what's next. Get the hose in. Right, that's in. I'm not quite sure how it happened. <laughs> it's in though and it's secure. Now I'm gonna stick this in here. Another four hour escapade. This is why it was so cheap. You have to do all the work. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'll put the dusting brush on. That'll be right here. That's the, one of the attachments. And now I've got to get the crevice tool on. <laughs> I guess you take the crevice tool off and you push it in like this, and then it goes on this little square thing. Right there. Right there. Clips right in. Let's take it for a ride. <laughs> not the lightest and it's not the quietest and I got to do some of the work myself to put it together but it's working great and I'm very happy with it and I think uh, my floors are going to be a lot cleaner than they were with that red devil which had really passed its lifespan. Anyway I'm going to get on with it and start vacuuming my living room and uh, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>